So we have to have an awareness of where we're going. We have to have an awareness of our critics and who they are. And we have to, we have to put our money where our mouths are, I guess, in terms of some of these issues. But when you look at the future, when you look at Alberta 20, 30, 40 years out, is the future bright for this province? I think it's, a, it, it's, the, it's the best province in the country to be in. It's probably one of the best jurisdictions in the world to be part of and to live in, I think, over the next 20 or 30 years. When you think of what's happening in the global economy, two things are, are going to drive success over the next uh, three decades. One is going to be natural resources, simply because there is, a, there is a surging of demand in developing economies who want to achieve the living standards that we have achieved in Canada over the last hundred years, and they're a long ways from it, but to get there, they're going to need natural resources. Secondly, uh, people. People are going to be absolutely vital to success in the future because it's people that are going to be the innovators. Uh, value in terms of products and services uh, are, are going to be more and more determined by uh, people with knowledge, people with expertise, uh, you know, in other words, human capital. And so if, if we, uh, here in Alberta, with a rich endowment of resources, a human resource base that I think is the best in the world, if we can take that, those two factors, bring them together, and uh, allow them to, to leverage off of each other the resources and the people, uh, we can, I think, have just a tremendous uh, future.